No doubt one of the best known collections in the HMRC is the Photographic Collection, which includes thousands of rare photographs of Houston buildings, people, and events. The collection documents one of the biggest social events in Houston at the beginning of the 20th century. It was a huge fair and carnival held each November called Notswo. Notswo is, it's N-O-T-S-U-O-H, and it's Houston spelled backwards. And that is the name of a big cotton carnival that took place in Houston from 1899 to 1915. It was to attract the people from the surrounding areas in Texas to come to Houston during the fall buying season. On the social side of things, they had a big ball which took place in the Rice Hotel in the ballroom. It was very much like Mardi Gras. The most popular of the parades held during Notswo was the Flower Parade, for which ladies completely covered their carriages and later their automobiles with flowers. Notswo was discontinued after 1915 because of World War I. Professional minor league baseball first came to Texas in 1895. In 1907, the Houston Buffs played in the Texas League and became an important farm team of the St. Louis Cardinals. In 1928, the St. Louis Cardinals built uh, a stadium which was called Buffalo Stadium or more affectionately as Buff Stadium. August Bush, of beer fame, purchased the Houston Buffs in 1953. He changed the name of Buff Stadium to Bush Stadium. In 1961, Hurricane Carla destroyed the grandstand at Bush Stadium. When Houston was awarded a Major League Baseball franchise, the Colt 45s were formed and the Houston Buffs disappeared from the scene. The home plate at Buff Stadium and other memorabilia are on display at the Houston Sports Museum. It's preserved in the Fingers Furniture Store, located on the original site of the stadium on the Gulf Freeway at Cullen Boulevard. By 1963, the modernistic Harris County Domed Stadium was under construction. The stadium was nicknamed the Astrodome, and when it opened in 1965, the Colt 45s went along with the space theme and changed their name to the Houston Astros. It was called the eighth wonder of the world. Uh, if you told people you were from Houston, they said, oh, that's where the Astrodome is. <laughs> They had tours. Uh, sometimes they had more people attending tours than, than they did the ball games. No, it was, a, it was a big thing for the city. It was the first um, domed stadium of its kind. The biggest feature inside the Astrodome was the scoreboard. The scoreboard was, uh, it must have taken up uh, a third of one side, or it seemed at least to me that it did. When the home team would score, the scoreboard would go berserk with music and, and noise and lights, and, and you had a cowboy roping a calf and you had somebody with six shooters shooting off their guns and uh, you had bucking broncos and, and stampeding bulls. The Astrodome was the prototype for other similar buildings that were built later uh, in other parts of the country, but it was fun to have something that, was, was, uh, that no one else had. Before the Astrodome, Rice Stadium was Houston's claim to fame as far as sports arenas were concerned. With its modern design, it was considered one of the best places to watch a football game in Texas. Rice Stadium opened in fall of 1950. It was uh, amazing to think that this school, which only had somewhere between 1,500 and 1,600 students, would dream that they could build and fill a stadium that would hold 72,000 people. But they did. And not only that, it was completed in nine months from start to finish. It was and is an architectural icon on the Houston skyline. Rice Stadium was home of Houston's major sports events and hosted several rock concerts. Houston's first professional football team, the Oilers, played their games there for a number of years. The Blue Bonnet Bowl, an annual event, was played there for a number of years. And the first Super Bowl to be played in Texas was played there in the 1970s.